What's happening guys? My name is Jamie, this is the Norwich Reptile Shed and in this video we're going to be building an awesome paludarium for my crocodile skink. So this is the style I'm going for again. I, I really like this style. Um, I've done it on both of these vivariums. So we've got the Lion Day Gecko in this one. We've got loads of assassin bugs in this one. Um, and then my crocodile skink is going to have this Exoterra just down here. So uh, yeah, we're going for the same sort of design. Now I'm not going to cover this as a full tutorial. I've actually done the making of this one before on a previous video so uh, i'm gonna crack on and put all the cork in but this video is going to cover me kind of doing that as well as putting the tubing in for a waterfall we're going to have a waterfall coming down um, so we're going to have a water section at the front um, and then obviously i will cover the specifics of planting light in and the uv for the crocodile skink Okay, so this is the Exoterra. Um, what I need to do now is take it out the hole. Um, because it's nice and sunny outside, I'm going to actually finish this build or start this build outside. Why would I say finish? So I'm going to clean it up and then we can start putting the cork in and figure it out. Okay, so I've just quickly arranged the cork how I want it, uh, and that's allowed for nice plant pockets here, here, some other stuff here where we can jam some moss in and philodendrons and little bits like that. Uh, I'm not going to concentrate too much on where I'm going to put the waterfall, I'm going to let that come naturally once I've um, silicon this in place. So that's where I want it. It isn't the end of the world if you can see bits of glass like down here. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, Gorilla Glue and dry cocoa fibre to kind of fill that edges in uh, and any other edges that are, you know, sometimes you get like a tiny little piece between there that you just can't get some cork in. Um, so uh, we'll cover that in a bit, but uh, what we need to do now is kind of remember where this all is and then very carefully sort of silicon it all in place and get it there. Okay, so that's all finished. I'm really happy with how that's come out. I've got loads of little planting pockets and bits like that. So next up, I'm gonna to have to uh, make the land and water divide. And what I'm gonna use is this old cork. So I'm gonna make a slit down it at the right height that I want it. And uh, then I'm gonna silicon that in place. But first of all, we need to get this vivarium back in the shed.
cool. So what I've just done is like a test, basically. So nothing's actually siliconed in or glued in or anything like that. I've just put bare minimum water just to see, one, if this sort of sits in the right place and the water flows down it, and two, if the uh, how the uh, flow looks and, and stuff like that. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So now, really, it's just a case of finalising this, gluing it all in place. Um, I'll probably do that with the water still there then I'm going to top the rest up uh, with the clay balls and then put the mesh on top so then we can start putting the soil down. Okay, so we are done. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Uh, since the last few shots, I've added some leaf litter. What I've got left to add really are just um, the little coconut hides and things that I actually use for the uh, for my little crocodile skink, but at the moment he's using them, so I will move them over as he moves in, but I've sort of allowed some space back here and in other little places to put bits. But um, all in all, I'm, uh, I'm happy. So all that's left really now is to uh, add the little guy. Before we just wrap up the video I'll quickly go over the the lighting so it's exactly the same lighting as I had for the original uh, vivarium that I actually did a uh, all about the crocodile skink uh, sort, of, sort of like a species highlight but so what I'm using up here is uh, an Arcadia um, light fixture and that's got a 7% T5 UVB in there um, I believe I've actually swapped that out now to a reptile systems so that'll be a zone two 
Ferguson Zone 2 um, UVB lamp in there. Um, although it spans the whole thing, I actually um, only a, a half of it is exposed um, inside the UVB because I actually use uh, these panels just to stop uh, the moisture getting out, um, and that also is blocking all that UV, some of that UV as well. Um, and then behind that, for the plant lighting, let me just grab it. I've actually got this. Ugh, I've got this uh, Reptile Systems LED um, aquarium lamp, um, and I'm actually using two of them. I'm using one up there as well, um, and that is for the plant growth, and that's a really cool uh, feature. I really, really like that, and um, that was given to me by the guys at Reptile Systems. So I want to just thank you um, loads for. Uh, been able to provide that um, and I'm yeah I'm really happy with it because I was actually using it on the uh, propagation and like the you know the plant storage and the plants in there went absolutely nuts so I'm super confident that in here under that light these plants will continue to go mad uh, which is really cool because we've got obviously loads of trailing plants in there loads of philodendrons uh, we've got some devil's ivy that I want to grow into the water um, and then just some little ferns and, and other little bits as well, just to finish it off. So that'll do it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I'm really happy with the uh, paludarium. I can't wait for it to grow in and just do more videos and feed in with the, uh, with the little dude as well. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to support the channel any further, please find me on Patreon, and I can feature your name at the start of each video. That'll do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.